New at 6 o'clock, a war is brewing over school start times between the state's largest school district and the state board of education. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Now, the Clark County School District is even threatening to sue the state. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Piguero joins us now in studio to explain. Hello, Brian Denise. The state board of education is seeking to set guidelines and guardrails for, school that's, for schools that start before 8 in the morning, saying it impacts student performance at CCSD, the majority of high schools begin at 7. CCSD has yet to define a specific provision in the law that authorizes the department to establish school start times. That's part of the reason why the district is coming out against these changes, lobbying a broadside during the State Board of Education meeting on Wednesday, threatening to file a lawsuit. The CCSD will take all steps, including litigation to prevent any ultra-virus decision by the department on this particular issue. Currently, there are 83 CCSD schools that start before 8 in the morning. Part of the state's proposed regulations includes giving families and students options. It will provide options, not only for our students, but for some of our teachers who are not ready and um, willing to work at 7 a.m. in the morning. State Education Board President Felicia Ortiz says this rule is aimed at high schools and intended on fixing the negative impacts to health and academic performance associated with early start times. Some districts could apply for a waiver, but they'd have to develop a detailed plan and get it approved by the board. As we've learned from the research, and from the numerous public comments and folks that have actually come in person and commented as well, this makes a humongous difference in the lives of our children. It will ensure not only their safety, but their mental health. Now, the state board voted unanimously today to move forward with these proposed rules, but it still has a few more hurdle, hurdles before it gets implemented. Brian? Joshua, thanks. And the regulation now goes before the state legislative council bureau. It will then get one more vote before members of the state board of education. If it passes, it will be ready by the start of the 2024-2025 academic school year.